All right, our plan was, and it was a good one, was to drive up here to Galena and use the Kennedy, Kennedy compound as our base camp. Then we we're going to take uh, the Great River Road on the uh, Iowa Minnesota side all the way up to La Crosse, spend a couple nights at the Bennett uh, Wheeler House, bed and breakfast in uh, La Crosse, and then come back down uh, the Great River Road on the Wisconsin side. It was really a beautiful journey, but I got to tell you that the Great River Road doesn't always follow the river. It goes in and out of farmland and beautiful towns, and it's really worth the drive. So we highly recommend a trip on the Great River, river Road. This is the view from the back deck of Francine and Eric's house overlooking Lake Galena. Here's one of the many beautiful mansions here in uh, Galena. This is the Belvedere uh, Mansion, and it was the captain's uh, uh, one of the steamships uh, home. And up on the top there is the Widow's Walk, where uh, his wife would watch for him and the ship to come into port. Galena is also the home of uh, President Ulysses S. Grant. This home here was given to him by the people of Galena for his service in the uh, Civil War. It overlooks the town, has a majestic view of the river and the town, um, and is open for tours daily. It's a National Historic Landmark. These are just some of the gardens at Eagle Ridge at the Lodge. There are miles and miles of hiking trails here in the Galena Territory. Um, and because the marina is closed, um, we're doing hiking today. Hey, Barbara. <laughs> More hiking here in the territory. Golf is the name of the game here at uh, the territory. They have uh, three full courses and a nine-hole course for your golfing uh, pleasure. But Tony, Andy, and I like the fishing, and this is a pretty good fishing spot across the lake here. The vistas here at, uh, in the territory are just, just incredible. See forever. This used to be a cattle farm. The territory itself has 3,500 acres. You can stay at the lodge. You can rent a condo, townhouse, or some of the homes are just huge. In the uh, summertime, Chestnut has remodeled its um, dining room and it's got a wonderful outdoor patio there. Um, looks like a good spot to come to. Well, check out this vista of the mighty Mississippi here. Beautiful. Mississippi Explorer Cruise about to begin. Well, here it is, the uh, Mississippi Explorer, our uh, yacht for the day. Just a beautiful day on the river today. Every once in a while you pick up too much grass and see. Oh, is that what you're doing? Just on the other side. There's of the a lane, see great blue heron up ahead there. And that's uh, Weiss Lake at the upper end of Weiss Lake. Now you might have heard the expression. There's another beaver, beaver lodge. It's a really good expression too. There's probably the about eight to ten rooms in there. Can take down a six inch. Here we're having a race with the Twilight Riverboat. So it's a 52 footer. That's a great trip. Uh, Eric's friend Andy um, has a contract here at Eagle Ridge and does all the ballooning uh, out of here. They launch right by the uh, lodge here. And tonight it's so still he's able to go like right over the lake, uh, almost touching it. Um, and then now he's uh, ascending. Um, with probably about uh, 15 people in the uh, basket there. They go up for about 45 minutes to an hour, land in some farm field, come back and have champagne. Eh, not a bit bad go of it if you like flying in a balloon. 
And if you look hard, you can see the reflection of the balloon in the water and up in the sky. How about that? And off he goes into the wild blue yonder. All right, so our stay here in La Grasse was going to be at the uh, Bennett uh, Wheeler bed and breakfast, but when we called, we found out that the room that we wanted was not available. But they said, sir, because you are from Chicago, we have another option for you. And they offered us a four bedroom home right next door in historic downtown La Crosse on Cass Street. Really a neat home. The Bennett Wheeler house has been lavishly restored and here is their beautiful front porch with a little uh, fountain, great sitting area. Just a wonderful, wonderful place. Uh, the guest house features a full living room here with a fireplace and facing couches. Very nice staircase here. Also a gorgeous uh, dining room. I think we'll invite the neighbors over for uh, dinner tonight. Pretty cool, huh? And we had a full kitchen as well. And every morning they served uh, homemade fresh uh, baked scones. I think we had raspberry uh, this morning. And then the guest house has four uh, bedrooms and two baths, full baths. And this is the master suite uh, where we spent uh, two nights. Granddad Bluff in uh, La Crosse, Wisconsin. Established in 1909, the elevation is 590 feet above uh, sea level. And sea level is, uh, the Mississippi's flooding now. It's uh, way over flood stage. We hear it's like 16 feet over flood stage. And here's a view from the uh, bluff. And uh, the Mississippi River is about 17 feet over flood. It's really, uh, wanted to go fishing this morning and uh, they said, no, can't get the boats out. Along the Great River Road, the river is almost up to the road in the railroad track. Well, this is the uh, trailhead of the uh, Bicentennial Trail. And I gotta tell you, today we've seen, uh, I'm gonna call them a gaggle of six wild turkeys and all kinds of uh, turkey vultures uh, soaring uh, on top of the bluff here. This should be a nice high. This is Lookout Point in the Hickson Forest. And uh, if you can see the uh, flag waving over there, that's uh, uh, the Granddad Bluff. And that's where we were earlier. Another view of the Mississippi here. Barbara's on the Bicentennial Trail here in the Hickson uh, Forest and the uh, trees are getting ready to turn here. Figure maybe a week or ten days it should be peak but it's pretty. So we couldn't go fishing so here's the second best thing. We're on the Great uh, River Bike Trail here uh, in Onalaska. Alright, so here comes Barbara on the great uh, river road. <laughs> Let's take, hope she stays on. Hey, there we go. Nice job. One of the nice things about this here is not only the, the, the trail here, but off here to the side you've got, this is Lake uh, Onalaska, and then there's also the Mississippi River, and then lots of rivers and uh, uh, bridges to cross over. It's very picturesque. Well, uh, that's been quite a day. Hiking, biking, and uh, lunch. And now we're getting ready to uh, have some fun out here on the patio before we go to dinner. I think people should come to La Crosse. It's a good spot. Well, we are in Wisconsin, so what can I say? But uh, the historic downtown district here has all kinds of uh, restaurant and cuisine and uh, some really great places to eat and uh, enjoy. Well, here comes a Tony's recommendation for places to eat. Piggy's here um, in uh, um, La Crosse has got to be one of the best restaurants in town. Moderately priced, wonderful food, 
seafood, uh, sandwiches, smoked uh, dishes like you've never had them before. I give this one a four out of five stars. Try it. Riverfront Park is uh, a jewel of the city here. Um, and you can see the flood there taking over everything. The water is really on the Mississippi is really moving uh, fast and very high, but starting to go down. And part of the riverfront um, uh, park here is also a river walk with restaurants and all kinds of really neat things. Uh, we've been told that one of the best places in town to try for dinner is the uh, waterfront restaurant. And that's where we're headed. And it's so nice today that we hope to be able to eat outside on the patio. All right, we just had a uh, dinner, a wonderful dinner at the waterfront uh, here, and I would highly recommend it, uh, along with Piggies here. If you only had two places to go to, these would be the two to go to, and I rate this four stars out of five. Another neat section of uh, historic uh, lacrosse here is Pearl Street. It's got all kinds of restaurants and novelty shops and, you know, all good things to see. Worth the trip. Pearl Street. Historic. Lacrosse. Uh, the Villa Lewis is uh, closed today because of the flood. We're about uh, 50 miles uh, south of uh, Lacrosse in Prairie du Chien. And uh, apparently the river has not uh, crested just yet and uh, so there's no admission for the tour here today. All right, so here we are driving along the middle of uh, nowhere on the Great River Road and up pops this uh, oasis called Potosi. So what do you think, Barbara? <laughs> Potosi is great. We're halfway home and we stopped here where they have a brew pub and it is gorgeous. Let's take a look here. This is their outdoor patio. And look at this. We got a fountain. And it's a gorgeous September day. And here's the bar and restaurant. Boy, it's really nice in here. I give this one five stars. All right, here we are at the Eagle Ridge Inn. And this is really a nice place to, to stay. But I wanted to give you a couple of hints about uh, dining in uh, Galena. And uh, at the top of the list has to be the uh, dining here at either the lounge uh, or the uh, uh, formal dining room. Uh, really good food, uh, uh, moderately priced. Uh, I give it about three stars. 111 Main is another new entry in the, to Galena's dining scene. Um, they feature local uh, uh, produce uh, and work with the farmers in the area. Really interesting menus. This one rivals the uh, uh, dining room at the uh, Galena Lodge. Um, I certainly recommend this as a three-star, uh, highly recommended, nice spot. Canova's is a good place uh, for pizza. Now, it's not Chicago pizza, but it's pretty, pretty good, and uh, the atmosphere is very rustic. Uh, we like it a lot. Uh, three star. Dirty Gertz is a great spot for a uh, casual restaurant for uh, hamburgers, ribs. They've got some great uh, gumbo as well. Highly recommended for casual dining. Three star. Capeche is a new and a welcome addition to the Galena scene. Mexican, obviously, and authentic. I give this one three stars for sure. It's one of the beautiful tree lined streets of. Uh, Galena with bed and breakfasts and beautiful old homes. Really cool. 